Hello everyone, I received this question from one of my subscribers and he asked me for an explanation for this question. So I'm going to share the explanation this way so everybody will benefit. And if I'm wrong, because this is not very clear, maybe someone can, can correct me. Okay, on May, 1, on May 1st, year 1, Marno County issued property tax assessment for the fiscal year ended June 30th, year 2. So let's look at a timeline. And we are looking, we are, this is May 1st. This is when the county issued the taxes. And the year end is June 30th. So this is year end. So, so, this, so this is year two, physical year two. So this is F2 and F2, the physical year two. Okay. Um, the first two, Equal installment was due on November 1st, year one. Simply put, the taxpayer will have to make two payments. The first one was on November 1st. The first one on November 1st, and another one six months later, I would say two months before year end. Okay, so this is the second payment, which is we're not concerned about. This is one I showed you when the payment is due. On September 1st, so sometime here, because we have a lot of dates here, that's why I'm changing the colors. And again, if I missed something, by all means, let me know. So on September 1st here, September 1st, the company purchased a four-year-old factory in Marno subject to an allowance for accrued taxes. So what we're saying is we bought, we bought a factory here, an old factory, but that factory was subject to an accrued tax. So I'm assuming they owe taxes as of June 30th, as of the prior fiscal year. The company did not record the entire year's property tax obligation, but instead record tax expense at the end of each month by adjusting prepaid property taxes or property taxes payable as appropriate. Okay. The recording of the November 1st year one payment by Dwyer should have been allocated between an increase in prepaid taxes and a decrease in prepaid taxes payable in which of the following percentages. So on, when we paid in November, this is when we make the payment. When we paid in November, how are we going to allocate this payment? What we are told is, here's how this company works. Every month, they either adjust their, so what they do is they make adjustments on a, on a monthly basis. So at the end of each month, they, they do one of two things. They debit, not income, they debit tax. What are we going to call it here? This is real, real, real estate property tax. I'm going to call it real estate property taxes, okay, expense, and they credit real estate property taxes payable. That's one way to do it, is they record the expense, but they record a liability. Or, or if they prepaid, what they would do is they will debit real estate property, let me do this here. The other, the other way that they would do it, so just I, want, I want to make sure you see what we're doing here. So the other way that they do it is they will debit real estate property tax expense and they credit prepaid real estate property. So. In case they paid, in case they paid up front, if they have a prepaid, they would record the expense by adjusting the prepaid, or if they don't have a prepaid, they will do so. And here what they told us, they told us we made the payment November 1st. We made the payment November 1st. It means we don't have, so this, forget about this entry, okay, because we don't have this entry. We did not, we were not prepaying. So what, what, what's happening is this. When we got to November 1st, when we made our first payment, what happened is this. We, we, made this, we made this entry, we made this entry right here, debit real estate property tax expense for the month of July, August, August, my pen is not, is not working, August, September, and October, because we made the payment November 1st. So what happened is we made this entry four times, this entry right here. Debit and expense credit the payable for real estate. Therefore, when we make the payment, we're going to reduce because the payment is for six months. The payment is for six months. So here's what's going to happen. Four of the six months, the four six, it's going to go to reduce the payable. And 
two of the six to six, which is one third, okay, one third will be prepaid for the month of November and December. This will be a prepaid because we paid it. So when we pay, let's assume we paid, let's make a number $600. So if we made a $600 payment, we're assuming $100 per month. So we're going to 400 of the 600 will be to reduce the liability. So we debit property taxes payable. So we were doing 100, 100 every month, total of 400. We're going to debit real estate property taxes payable. And what's left, the other 200, we're going to, for the 600, we're going to debit prepaid. So simply put, maybe if I, maybe I should just show you the entry. So when we make the payment, we're going to debit. Let me, let me just make this a little bigger. Give me one second, please. So give you the, the whole entry. Okay, so what's going to happen when we pay that, let's assume in $600, we're going to credit cash 600 of which the real estate, I'm going to real estate property taxes payable is debited $400 because we were accruing and we're going to debit for the rest prepaid real estate property taxes for 200 okay therefore what's going to happen is the answer is we're going to increase prepaid by 33 and one third which is one third and the other one is two third and we're going to reduce this is so the payable is reduced by two third and the property is reduces by one third again this is the best way i can because this is basically this question is coming from one of my um subscribers um again this is my this is how i understood the question and this is the best thing i can you know i can share with you i'm pretty sure if somebody else has this question they have the same answer you know, if you have any questions, any comments, please let me know. Once again, I strongly suggest, to, uh, I strongly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube and or, um, and or subscribe to my website where I have a lot of resources for your CPA preparation. Good luck.